The Safdie brothers really blew me away with the fantastic good time that came out a couple of years ago. And it was basically a story set around one night. Robert Pattinson was amazing and I was really curious about their, their next effort, Uncut Gems, starring Adam Sandler. I had me really curious. Set again in New York City, we follow Howard, this charismatic but really self-destructed uh, jewellery broker who feels as if he has the deal of a lifetime going on. He's got this uncut rock full of gems um, that he feels is worth more than a million. It's going to just set him up. But he's a lot of things going on in his life that are really detrimental to him. He has in the middle of a breakup with his wife and he hasn't told anybody else really about it. He has his mistress. He has loan sharks or, or, or people who he owes money to coming to his place of work, threatening him, shaking him up. And he has this uncontrollable urge to throw everything into the wind by constantly gambling, by constantly taking risks, hoping for bigger wins that would never quite pay off for this character. And what is probably the best performance I have ever seen Andler, Adam Sandler put in it is just amazing. We have this character who is really charismatic, who's really kind of fun in here, having fun spending time with this character, but almost every decision, almost everything he does it is horrible to the situation and makes you kind of loathe the character, but you still like him at the same time, you're still with him, he feels three-dimensional. He feels like a fully formed living character. And the Safdie brothers have this excellent sense of direction uh, in letting these scenes play out. We're in the middle of busy New York City and it feels like a bustling metropolis. When we go into Howard's place of work, there is punters there, there is people there looking to purchase things and it's busy and lived in. And most of these scenes that go on in the movie, there are multiple characters talking about various things and the camera easily glides through these large groups of people focusing on smaller points uh, of conversations, always focusing on things that are highlighting the story or elevating it or touching on some of the sub uh, plots that are going on as well. And it feels really busy, but really natural, really kind of lived in the kind of scenes that, that life pays out in, you know. It doesn't feel uh, overly written or overly staged. It feels very naturalistic to the point where you feel as if you're watching an almost documentarian style movie as this world of Howard just completely implodes. And it is one of the most anxiety driven movies I've seen in the longest while. I could have clawed the skin off my face. It was just so tense and nail biting. And you're watching this character make mistake after mistake and you're that invested in him and you can see these habitual errors that he's making and you want him to just pull one off to stop to ease back to to take the little one and, and know that that's enough he doesn't have to keep risking everything for the bigger uh, thrill and winning style it's it's great. We get Kevin Garnett as this big time basketball player which he is involved in the movie that kind of Sandler uses to, to manipulate the situations a little bit and, and he's a really fun addition, he feels kind of like natural, kind of brings the movie back to that real world kind of scenario again as he's playing himself. But Sandler again steals every single scene in this movie, he is truly wonderful, I don't think he has ever been better in anything that he has been in. I think the Safdie brothers are just showing how amazing filmmakers that they are by having this tense and, and, and really anxiety inducing movie where we follow a, a rather horrible character who you're really engaged with, you really want to see hopefully overcome this loss, uh, this run of losses and, and get a win at long last, you just come on Howard you can do it. Uncut Gems it is absolutely marvellous from its direction to the way it's staged to the writing, everything feels naturalistic, everything it feels almost true to life, you feel as if you're prying in on something that you shouldn't be prying in on, it has moments of levity and laughter, moments of threats and, and terrifying violence, it has everything, it has an emotional gut punch, this movie grabs a hold of you and will not let you go and puts you through the emotional ringer. This is one of the best movies that I've seen 
definitely in 2019 and is highly, highly recommended by me. I hope you get to check it out. I hope you love it as much as I did. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Man V Film.